So y'all do know that it's easier for a woman to spoil a man than for a man to spoil a woman. So why y'all not doing it? <laughs> Got it! <he>. Got it! <he>. <laughs> It's literally so simple and don't talk to me none about no money because it don't even take money to spoil a man. Pow. Oh! You fix that man a sandwich, oh he gonna love you. I'm talking about put a little bit of lettuce to my dress it up a little bit, you know, put a little extra to it. Oh he gonna love you. Ladies, if you're trying to get a man, stay tuned because this video is for you. If you want to learn how to get, keep, and get married to a man, get your pens and your paper out, and stay tuned. What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. And you know what we're going to do. First thing is we're going to say it with me now. Roll that clip. So y'all do know that it's easier for a woman to spoil a man than for a man to spoil a woman. So why y'all not doing it? It's literally so simple. And don't talk to me nothing about no money because it don't even take money to spoil a man. You fix that man a sandwich, oh, he gonna love you. I'm talking about put a little bit of lettuce to my dress it up a little bit, you know, put a little extra to it. Oh, he gonna love you. When that man get in that shower, wash that man back for him. Lay his clothes out for him when he get out. They fresh, they ready. Socks, drawers, all look. You see how that was free? Rub his feet, free. Give him a little massage, free. And if you got some money, you ought to not be saying nothing at all. Pay for that man haircut, put a little gas in that man car too. Mm-hmm. The new gang coming out. You know he like to play the game. Buy that man that new gang that's coming out. You love, you know he like to dress. Give him a little graphic tee or something. Give him a little, a little hat, a little snapback. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do, so why you ain't doing it? And then we be the one, we be picking. Oh, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Okay, he wants stuff too. He like to be spoiled too. And if you get a little too mad, then talking about what you ain't finna do. I ain't finna buy that, I ain't finna do that, okay. And what one woman won't do, another one will too. Remember that. You see, this is what men are talking about. And I want ladies to pay very close attention to what she says. It is not easy to be a man. But it is very easy to please them. You do not have to do much to please your man, to spoil your man. You know what your man likes and what your man desires. What if he likes you to be natural? Go natural. If he likes you to wear a certain outfit, wear that outfit. See, Women make dating hard. Men are simplistic. Feed us, have relations with us, and leave us alone. We will be happy. Never let us leave the house horny or hungry, and we will be happy. Yep. Pack our lunch when we go to work. Cook dinner sometimes. Clean the house. Do little things. With men, it's the little things. So many women, they want to get, but they don't want to give. But you're not going to be able to withdraw anything if you don't put anything in. If you go out and you open up a bank account, and you don't put anything into that bank account, you will not be able to withdraw. A lot of women view relationships as bank accounts, but they don't want to put anything in, but they want to take a lot out, and they keep getting declined. Heal. Heal so you won't attack other women on a social media platform who talks about love, who talks about marriage, who talks about what we as women need to do better to be better partners. So y'all can stop calling women pick me's and pick Misha's and actually uh, heal yourself so you can then be picked. Let's do that. Because it's, it's crazy. 
misery loves company but baby when you're a woman and you know that real love exists and you don't look at men like they're all the same that's when you see love in a different light and that's why i can't be moved baby i can't talk about men like a dog because all men ain't dogs but we do that and that's why i say we as women we be our own worst enemy see this woman is right a lot of women out there are hurt they're traumatized they're attacking other people because what somebody says doesn't line up with the bs that they were taught that's what i'm talking about that's why he's the MVP. that's why he's the goat the goat <laughs> so many women are so comfortable calling each other pick me's well guess what a lot of the pick me's that you call women that stand against modern women oh you're a pick me you're a pick me well guess what they got picked and you didn't pow oh! and a lot of women are upset at the sisterhood because of this woman this woman has rocked TikTok and social media because she's telling women to spoil your man women don't want to spoil a man women want a man to spoil them it's just like the 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 song by janet jackson what have you done for me lately you can't take my man because my man can't be took a lot of things that i do for my man other women ain't gonna do freely or happily it's stuff that i do for my man that you don't even know how i do it or where i do it from but i do it and i do it well i ain't even built for it i'm telling you that right now and this brings me to my next point you see a lot of women will say oh well a man has to give me a safe space in order for me to do something well let me ask you this does a man have to give you a safe space in order to cook, in order to clean your house, in order to keep gas in your car? When you're able to do something, you're going to do it regardless. And see, that's what men around the world are saying. This woman is saying. These people are saying. Is that you're not getting picked? to be a wife because of you and your characteristics this lady is a hundred percent correct if you want to be a wife you have to exhibit wife characteristics and see this is what men are assigning is that if it is in your nature to do something it wouldn't take somebody else creating a space for where you to do it if you are a naturally giving person if you give naturally if you're polite naturally it doesn't take a safe space for you to be like that and i believe that's a con because what people like to do is they like to put stipulation on how they act well if you create a safe space you'll get this if you're my husband you'll get that if you go and read the comments because people have shared this people have reacted to it and you always find those women in there that say well if he's my husband You'll always find women in there that say, if he's my husband, I'll do it then. You get nothing. You lose. If you want to be a wife, you have to act like a wife. You require a man to act like a husband before you marry him. But yet when we require the same thing, people don't like it. Yeah. And I'm thankful for women like this women like the crimson cure women like riva tv women like danica dope discussions these are all women that stand against modern women and they're teaching you how to get married they're teaching you especially over here 
I want you to get married. I want you to have a husband. I want you to enjoy life and have children and get married. Because a lot of women, y'all do want to get married. Y'all do want to have a family. You do want to have children. You're so caught up in the sisterhood and modern women and trying to tell men what they need to bring to the table that you don't even realize that you're sabotaging yourself. And then you always have the proverbial commenter that will come on a video like this and say, well, we don't care what men think. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Men don't care what women think. Nobody's even talking about that. But let's bring that up. Men, we do care about what women think. But women really don't care about what men think. Because if women cared about what men thought, there would be less single women and more marriages. There would be less single mothers and more wives so if you want to be a wife if you want to have children and get back to the nuclear family listen to what these black women are saying because it's not just black men that are saying this it's black women as well there are plenty of black women on YouTube that are saying the same thing that I'm saying and other men are saying. So even if you don't agree with me, go check any one of these women out. They'll tell you the same exact thing. If you want to be a wife, you have to act like one and exhibit the characteristics of one, which includes submission, being caring, being comforting, non-combative, non-argumentative. There's no reason to ever raise your voice at a man, period. For what? You're raising your voice at a man to argue. That's the only reason why somebody would raise their voice at a man is to argue. It's unnecessary. Arguing in a relationship is unnecessary. But yet, people want to raise their voice. They want to argue. They want to be combative. They want to be loud. They want to be obnoxious. They want to be everything that goes against what they're trying to get. And then they wonder why you don't get it. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell. I will let you know every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, peace.